to Aeropause fans. We are here at Telltale Studios looking at Sam and Max episode one, yep. season two. Season two. And this is... I'm Emily Morganti. I am uh, the marketing and PR girl at Telltale. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at this and show everybody why they should get this game. Okay. Well, this is a demo of Ice Station Santa, which is the first episode in season one, or excuse me, season two, uh, launching November 8th. And uh, the premise behind this is Santa Claus is sending really bad presents to people, and Sam and Max have come to the North Pole to find out what's going on. Hey, look, I see we have returning characters from the first season. We do. The soda poppers are back. They play a very small role in this episode. Um, you know, people either love the soda poppers or hate them. So, <laughs> for the haters, you'll be let to know you can throw snowballs at them. <laughs> Now, is there any tie in to season one with this, or is it completely separate? You know, it's completely separate, but the same way that a TV show has the same things that happen, you know, the kind of storylines that come from one season to another, that's, that'll be going on. So, people who played season one, you'll notice uh, Sybil and Lincoln are now in a relationship, and that's something that kind of develops throughout season two. Um, Bosco has gotten even more paranoid than he used to be, so that's something that will be... Uh, yeah, Bosco. Yeah, well, Bosco's gone off the deep end. <laughs> and uh, his, his increasing paranoia is another uh, subplot throughout season two. But if you haven't played season one, it, you're, you're going to be able to catch it very quickly. So it turns out here that uh, Santa, as we can see, is holed up in his little room back there, forcing the elves to uh, do bad things. <laughs> Well, this could be a little disturbing to young children. It could be, actually. We're trying to put a whole new spin on the Christmas special. So, uh, Santa's Workshop is one of the locations here in season in uh, episode one. A lot of things to just poke around on and play with, but there's also a goal to get into uh, Santa's room. So Sam and Max have to figure out how to do that when he's got the gun in the window. I take it the same premises are in fact shorter episodes, yeah. you know, stuff that can be finished in you know, a few hours. In a few hours, um, it really depends on your playing style. If you like to listen to every joke, it's going to take longer. If you just want to rush through and get to the end of the story, it's going to be a little shorter. Um, the idea is, uh, this time around, we really focused on the story ahead of time, we focused on making something that's going to be satisfying to the people who play the whole season. So we really focus on these kind of developing plots over time. So each episode might be a little bit longer than it was uh, last season, but the other thing you're going to see is that they're more complex. There's more going on. It's not just the one kind of singular storyline that we had in season one. So, you know, as kids at heart here, Max... Uh, now, are these going to also be GameTap exclusive? They're going to start on GameTap. The difference from last year is that last year GameTap had a 15-day exclusive window, and this year it's only one day. Wow. So uh, it, it premieres November 8th on GameTap, and then it'll be on Telltale Books on November 9th. And okay. anybody who wants it can, can buy it from Telltale. So it is the, you can buy it, it's direct marketing through either or you yes. can Telltale. Or. That's right. And, um, I mean, both, both ways of getting it have benefits. With GameTap, you get a thousand other games that you play with your subscription. Uh, if you buy it from Telltale, uh, we have a community. We have uh, special deals where you can get a free disc at the end of the season, special promotions, and stuff like that. So there are, and, and you own it, as opposed to GameTap, where you only have it for your subscription. So there are, you know, benefits to both types, depending on what you're looking for. Um, and then again, at the end of the season, it'll probably come out in a retail package. But we haven't, yeah, but we haven't gone that far ahead just yet. So that's kind of the, uh, the gist of it. I don't want to give away any of the puzzles. No, I got you. But, um... So November 8th. November 8th. And, uh, like I said, I think it's really going to take everything you love about the Christmas season and kind of... And now we're still looking at the same, same release schedule, about a month apart. Yeah, the first episode is in November. There will be a two-month gap, and then after that, there'll be once a month. I do have to commend you that you actually stayed on schedule. Thank you. <laughs> episodic content, unlike some other people I've heard Well, you know, the schedule was always a really important part of it for us. We set up a schedule, and that, that was what we were always planning to do. This is the we schedule, and we stuck to it because that, that was always the plan. And I think... Um, Thing. That's kind of been its downfall at times, I think. Yeah. Like the people 
something. You want it released? Yeah. You want to know when you can get it. And to us, that's very, very important. So, you will see it again. It's going to be the second Thursday and Friday of every month. So basically, you can you can set your clock by it. Second Thursday of the month, go to Game Tap, or second Friday of the month, go to Telltale and get your new Santa back to